everyone! Welcome to the special edition of the PUBG Mobile Devlog. Today we'll be announcing two important changes to the PUBG Mobile version 1.1. The Devlog begins now. The first important change is restricting the ability to switch servers at will. Within the community, we have been seeing demands from players who want the servers to be separated. In order to provide a smooth and stable gaming experience for the players, the developers have been discussing and researching this matter carefully. The developers have also been gathering players' feedback from surveys. In conclusion, we have decided to restrict the ability to switch servers at will, starting in PUBG Mobile Season 16. When the season starts, players will need to choose and confirm the server they wish to play on for the season. Once the server confirmation is done, they will not be able to change again for 60 days. Players will be unable to switch servers at will while playing. Players who do not confirm their regions will play on the region selected from the last season. We recommend that players choose their server regions as soon as possible when the new season begins. If a player chooses a different server mid-season, then the tier data will be switched to the new server data. In most situations, players who have confirmed their selection will only be matched with other players on the selected server. If players from different servers team up, the match will be made on the team leader server. All points, tiers, and leaderboard rankings will only be earned and displayed in the selected server region and will not affect any other regions. Restricting the server switching at will brings about huge changes to the PUBG Mobile's gaming environment. Examples of such changes are the following. Improvements to server latency issues. Latency has been the challenge that we've been hoping to overcome. Players all over the world have different mobile devices and network environments. In order to optimize the different network environments for each region, we are now able to implement targeted solutions for each specific region with the server separation system and are hoping that we can close the optimization gaps between the different regions. After implementing matchmaker server separation, we will adjust the location and number of servers dynamically according to the number and distribution of players in different regions in order to reduce the latency problem in the game. In order to enjoy a smooth gaming experience, we hope that all players will choose the server from their region to play on. Maintaining a stable regional gaming environment. Previously, we found that some players were switching to different regions frequently, which impacts other servers' leaderboard rankings. Restricting the ability to switch servers at will will prevent this behavior from affecting the order and fairness of the game for players in each region. Improvement to matchmaking experience and social interactions. Restricting the ability to switch servers at will allows players to easily match up with other players in the same language and region, thus enhancing the overall fun of the game and helping players meet more like-minded friends within the game. Of course, in the case of players from different regions playing as a team, the team will be matched up to the region the captain, and the final earnings will be calculated in each player's own region. We hope that by restricting the ability to switch servers at will, we can bring overall improvement to the servers. It will also bring specific improvements to the gaming experience in each region, which will improve PUBG Mobile's global environment as a whole, and thus improve the game's overall quality for all players. The second important change is the implementation of lightweight installation. PUBG Mobile has become an FPS game platform that includes different gameplay styles, modes, and maps, all of which provides a diverse gaming experience. However, at the same time, the increase in file size has also become a major concern for us. After comprehensive discussions and research, in version 1.1, we will release the game with lightweight installation on the Google platform. In the Google Play Store, the PUBG mobile installer size will be reduced from 1.9 gigabytes to 600 megabytes, a drop of over 60%. During the installation process, the system will recommend and allow you to choose different sizes of additional resources for the client so that you can more freely choose the size of PUBG mobile on your phone. In addition, we've added the ability to download and delete features within the game. According to their own gaming habits, players can download or delete different maps, gameplay, features, and various other resources at their own discretion. 
We've also added a smart delete feature, which will allow the system to recommend unused resources for players to delete in order to save phone storage space for players. Of course, downloading more resources will allow you to be able to enjoy more of PUBG Mobile's game content. We also have prepared a download reward for everyone. We hope that a more flexible and low impact installation feature could allow players to experience their own classic battle royale gameplay on PUBG Mobile. The PUBG Mobile dev team has always challenged itself to bring more fun to all players on mobile phones and a better gaming experience. We hope that these two important updates will bring a more stable and lighter PUBG Mobile to all players. That's it for today's devlog. See you next time.